हेलो 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 डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स थ्री लेक्चर लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस केस थ्री एंड केस फोर ऑफ शॉर्टकट मेथड शॉर्टकट मेथड इज यूज्ड टू फाइंड दी पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल द रिमेनिंग हाफ सोल्यूशन ऑफ एल डी लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशियंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इयर केस फाइव और फाइव फाइव when the function is f of x is equal to e raised to x into v so there is product of two functions one of them is exponential and the second function v is any function of x then in that case how to find pi now the formula to find pi is pi is equal to 1 upon pi of d into f of x now here the function f of x is e raised to x into v so put f of x is equal to e raised to x into v now how to find the pi for this product of two functions e raised to x into v you solve first for exponential function now how to solve for exponential function you replace the term of d replace the term of d by d plus a of phi of d in phi of d you replace the term of d by d plus a you simplify that term and then you solve for v see the next step replace d of phi of d by d plus a then you simplify the term phi of d plus a and after simplification you solve for v v is any function of x after replacing d by d plus a the work of exponential function is over here so you write down this exponential function as it is e raised to x and then you solve for v now you see the example example is here So d plus one into y is equal to e raised to two x into x. Here it is the reduced form of l d phi of d into y is equal to f of x. Now phi of d is equal to d plus one equating equal to zero. So the auxiliary equation is here d plus one is equal to zero. So d plus one is equal to zero. It means d is equal to minus one. So your complementary function is here. C one e raised to minus x because there is only one root and it is minus one. Minus one is a real number, and so its complementary function it contains only one arbitrary constant because the degree of differential equation is here one linear differential equation, and order is also one. So there there is only one uh, arbitrary constant in the complementary function C one, and so complementary function is C one e raised to minus x. Now how to find the pi? The formula is here. Pi is equal to one upon phi of d into f of x. Now phi of d is d plus one, so the formula is one upon d plus one into function is e raised to two x into x. Now this is the case five e raised to x into v case. So the function v is linear function x. Now using the formula, you solve for exponential function first. Means you replace the, the the term of d by d plus a. The value of a is here two. The coefficient of exponential function is two here. So you replace the term of d by d plus two here in phi of d. Phi of d is here d plus one. So next step, this e raised to two x as it is, replace d by d plus two plus the remaining term as it is plus one as it is. X as it is. Now simplify this d plus two plus one. So if we solve this bracket term, we have the term next term one upon d plus three into x, and this e raised to two x as it is. Now the e the term e raised to two x as it is. Now solve for v. V is here x linear function. So you know how to solve for linear function y using case four. Case four is x raised to m. f of x is equal to x raised to m so using that case for you can solve this bracket term now now uh, you reduce the function d plus 3 in the form of 1 plus d uh, 1 plus x or 1 minus x so that we can use the series i discuss it in case 4 uh, or type 4 now how to reduce the denominator in the form of 1 plus x or min minus x 
here the constant term is 3 so you take 3 common if we take 3 common the term is 1 by 3 into 1 upon c the denominator term we have taken 3 common so in place of 3 there is 1 this 1 plus d upon 3 so the term is 1 plus d up upon 3 after taking 3 common this x as it is now 1 by 3 is a constant term so we can write the term as is equal to e raised to 2x upon 3 in bracket now the term is 1 upon 1 plus d by 3 d upon 3 so use here the series 1 upon 1 plus x 1 upon 1 plus x series is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube and so on so in place of x there is d by 3 so in place of x you place the value d by 3 only so that you will get the series 1 minus d by 3 plus d by 3 whole square minus d by 3 whole cube and so on into the function x as it is now the function is here x its degree is 1 so you count the terms up to d only in the bracket because you know that d means derivative this capital d means derivative d means derivative d square means second derivative d cube means third derivative and so on now the function is here x so you will get only one derivative of x derivative of x with respect to x is 1 its next derivative is 0 because the degree of x is 1 so you will get only one derivative of x and so you count the terms up to d only so the next step is it is equal to pi is equal to e raised to 2x by 3 as it is in bracket you count the terms up to d means you consider only first two terms 1 minus d by 3 because from third term you are getting 0 d square by 9 d by 3 whole square means d square by 9 d square means second derivative of x and it is 0 third derivative is 0 so you count only first two terms now multiply the bracket term by x so 1 into x is x minus d d of x means derivative of x is 1 so 1 upon this 3 as it is so it is x minus 1 by 3 next all next remaining terms are zeros so there are only two non zero terms so x minus 1 by 3 and this is your pi and so the general solution is y is equal to cf plus pi and so y is equal to you know cf is c1 e raised to minus x only plus pi is e raised to 2x upon 3 bracket x minus 1 by 3 this is the example first example e raised to x into v case now this is the second example solve d square minus 4d into y is equal to e raised to 2x into sine of 5x here again it is the reduced form of LDE phi of d into y is equal to f of x so you equate the function phi of d equal to 0 so that you will get auxiliary equation so here d square minus 4d is equal to 0 is an ae now you take d common so d common so remaining term d minus 4 is equal to 0 and so d is equal to 0 and 4 there are two roots 0 and 4 so both are real numbers and they are distinct means different so your complementary function is here c1 e raised to 0x plus c2 e raised to 4x so pi is equal to 1 upon phi of d into f of x now phi of d is here d square minus 4d into f of x is here e raised to 2x into sine 5x now it is again the case of uh, case uh, 5 e raised to x into v case so again you solve for exponential function first and then you solve for the trigonometric function means the function v v is here sine 5x which is a trigonometric function so how to solve for exponential function first you replace the term of d by d plus a a is the coefficient of exponential function but here the value of a is 2 so you replace the terms of d by d plus 2 and so your denominator term will be 1 upon d plus 2 whole square minus 4 into bracket d plus 2 into sine 5x bracket complete and the e raised to 2x outside the bracket because it is its work is over here after replacing d by d plus 2 again the next step e raised to 2x as it is now <clears throat> expand the uh, denominator term d plus 2 whole square 
the expansion of d plus 2 whole square is d square plus 4 d plus 4 again the next term is 4 into d plus 2 solve this bracket term so that we will get minus 4d minus 8 now simplify this term next term e is to 2x as it is the denominator simplified term is here d square minus 4 because 4d minus 4d get cancelled 4 minus 8 is minus 4 into sine 5x so this is the simplified form now the work of exponential function is over. Now you solve for v. V is here sine phi x. Now you know how to solve for trigonometric function sine phi x. You case use the case two or type two when there is trigonometric function. We solve uh, the case uh, or we solve for a trigonometric function. We replace the terms of d square by minus a square. Now here the coefficient of trigonometric function is five. Means the value of a is five. So you replace the terms of d square by minus 25 because the square of 5 is 25 and you give negative sign to it. And so replace the terms of d square by minus 5. And so the term is here. Here is one correction. The term is here minus 25 minus 4. And so here the term is minus 29 and the term is here here is minus 25 minus 4 is equal to minus 29. Sorry. And so the term is here minus 29. So this is your answer. Because we replace here d square Replace d square by minus 25. So minus 25 minus 4 minus 29. So here the pi is e raised to 2x upon minus 29 into sine 5x. And so here is again answer is minus 20. Answer is sorry. So pi is e raised to 2x upon minus 29 into sine phi x because we have replaced d square by minus 25. It is, it is a trigonometric function. And so the general solution is y is equal to cf plus pi. Cf is here. C1 e raised to 0x. e raised to 0x is 1. So you just write here c1 plus c2 e raised to 4x plus e raised to 2x upon minus 29 into sine phi x. So this is one correction here. Next. Next is here. Next example, you take it as a homework. Sorry. So this is your case. Five. Case five is over here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, students.